Sega. Well, this is one we haven't seen for a while. Just check the sound levels. It's all there. I haven't played Nights into Dreams since um, way, way, ba way back when I did uh, Panzer Dragoon and I needed something to fill the time out. So uh, this time I should hopefully finish this one. <laughs> I think we did one stage exactly, which I think was this one. Don't remember what it was. Not at all. So let's uh, let's retry and get back used to the controls and stuff, and realise that this is an on rails flying thing with reasonably good music. I think this one I kind of oop. remember everything's got to be stolen from me first. Go get them. Knights, which way are you going? <laughs> That's going to be most of what I'm going to say for this one, is Knights, which way are you going? Because I don't know. And this is like an arcade game through and through at this point. It's, um... The most remarkable thing that came out of it was the, uh... The fact that the Chow are based entirely upon... Some of the, uh... Some of the AI that's in this. Um, the little baby angels that you see floating around. Um, if you accidentally attack them in any shape or form, they tend to not like you. It's very strange, but pretty much there. Half of the course. Of course, this is the Sega Saturn game. If I actually bothered to get the... Um, uh, there's also Knights into Christmas. Uh, and Knights into Christmas is basically just the same thing, but with Christmas themes. Maybe one day as well. Try and go. But that's entirely dependent on if I ever find one. They were a reasonably rare title compared to the original game which you can buy anywhere at this point. And it's simply just a flying score attack game, which is weird, but there you go. And this is the sort of era in which, uh, you know, people experimented with things. Why not? Genres were basically just 
places where you could dump whatever idea you had off and hope it worked. Unless everything caught fire. Which was more than likely. The main idea is to get as much linked up as possible, but I'm not entirely certain how you're supposed to do that without draining your magic meter to basically bugger and bubble. And then having nothing left for something else later. This is the music that I more associate with Knights because it's the uh, it's from uh, Sonic Ad uh, Sonic Adventure One has the Knights pinball table, which means that you get this piece of music all the time. Then I also, every single time, sort of brings up Knights to me. The first thing I say is, Oh, do you remember the, uh, <laughs> the god awful 2008 game? But, uh, for some reason, decided that because Knights was, uh, without gender, like entirely, but he wasn't non binary, he was just without gender entirely. Um, and it came down to the point where the idea was to just have two recordings of the sa of uh, two different people saying the same thing. So, yeah, interesting, curious choice. In a time before we had increased number of sexualities and preferences. I appear to have lured someone here. <laughs> person who was, would, was, would be most happy if uh, this one, the, the wheel. No Kafka. Although uh, something did try, the, the weird game that I put on. <laughs> There's still both guys, they're dressed in male jester outfit. Male just uh, out there. Mankind has apparently discovered that yes, Knights is entirely made of pants. How's it going, Carl Mac? Ow. I was wondering what that odd piece of uh, sound effects was doing. <laughs> Hey boss, boss time. Hmm. No, 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 I'm, I'm just going to put it down as I see it now. You know, Knights is entirely made of trousers. <laughs> Oops, I'm doing it already. I'm not doing this boss particularly well, and it means I have to save again. Knights, can you actually remember to, you know, not be full of acceleration and ass?
Oh, did I do it this time? <laughs> I think I did do it. Oh. I'm sure the day will get better, Kafka. I think I did see it during the middle of, uh... In the middle of Jenny's stream. I think Knights also makes a cameo appearance. Um, I think during Sonic Shuffle, the weird Mario Party game they made. Hello, Gladys. <laughs> That's the first word I could think of for this, I don't know why. Everything's been stolen. That guy just moseyed off somewhere. Time to get knights out. Off he goes. She, he. Thing. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's based on Sonic Adventure 1, well, you should know, it's based on Sonic Adventure 1's table, which is even bigger. I mean, it could be worse. <laughs> the first words I can consider uh, among Sonic Team at this point is, MAKE BELIEVE REBORN! Exactly going for like the insane high score here. <laughs> Just want to actually, you know, play and beat the game. Well, the problem is you would have to, you know, rehire Yuji Naka, who is currently in prison. Um. That's what, as much as people don't want me to say about it, that's what Balan Wonderworld, Wonder, Wonderland, Wonderland, Wonderworld, Wonderwall, something wondrous uh, is based on. Oops, didn't mean to kill that child. Or did I? Uh, he is being, he was arrested on embezzlement charges. Yeah, Yuji Naka's no longer working in the video game industry because he's now uh, someone's prison cellmate. Good luck. <laughs> what are you in here for? Murder, rape, terrorization. Oh, I decided to go and uh, mess with my company's finances. Oh, you're fucking useless then, aren't you? <laughs> As long as you know how many cigarettes it takes to get uh, a nice, a nice uh, virtue signal from another man in here. I wish Sega would bring back a lot of their uh, old IP, but they just don't seem interested. Uh, 
um, like Skies of Arcade. Everyone always asks for Skies of Arcade to be mastered. Every every man and his dog asks for that. Um, I'm more interested in stuff like say Comic Zone and um, well, Valkyrie Chronicles also strangely died. Now, that was a very good experiment. Congratulations, Sega. You managed to kill something within two minutes of it being out. Um, Well, yes, but they want it actually playable on something other than the GameCube. You know, you do realise how much copies of that go for nowadays without pirating it. And, um, saying Comic Zone is anywhere near to Yoshi's Island is very disingenuous. Comic Zone is actually a lot tougher. And will deliberately kill you for just trying to progress the game. Going on here. Yeah, that's the only reason people know about Comic Zone is that collection. Otherwise, they wouldn't. It's the same thing with the ooze as well. The ooze was put specifically on there because someone couldn't find a copy of it. Admit, that's a very good good and useful abuse of power. I can't find the point that I actually need. This is bad. It's around here somewhere. There it is. Bonus time doesn't matter because I am so hopelessly lost, I can't make it back in time. Now I have to find that. Zone is incredibly tough. Um, I don't own the sequel. Um, I could always track it down. Okay, what have we got in here? We have a giant fish. reason, like, the first game I was thinking of, this. Oh, crying out loud. Come on. Uh, he's certain I hit him at the right point. And now he's not in the place I'm going to be. Oh, it's because it's aimed. Uh, oh, there we go. He exploded. Okay, I am starting to get a bit further. 
I have four stages to go, and then this is finished. Correctly, the um, the Polymega, the system that I normally like stream this sort of stuff from. Um, this was like one of their test games. It's weird. The fact that they chose this of all things for the uh, for the Kega Fusion. They chose this and Sega um, Sega Rally. Time begin. Nick us to that. There's <laughs> two. So at this point, it just looks like Knights is swimming. This is going better than the uh, than the other one. <laughs> Don't ask me why. rank. Already on to the final area. And Knights has loaded themselves into a cannon. Made out of rock. Wait okay, a second. <laughs> I was just sat here thinking, like, hold on. Ow, oh, didn't mean to go through that. Yeah, uh, Knights is in quite a few games. They do reference it quite a bit. Um, like Sonic Shuffle. I've mentioned Sonic Shuffle. There's also Sonic Adventure. 
Um, Sonic Riders has knights as well. They're a flying type class. So the character is not forgotten. It's just not used. That'd be like... Uh, Idos remembering that um, Pandemonium exists. But Tumblr doesn't. I don't think they want to be remembered for Jake the Psycho Stick. Number three today. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with this one. Oh, is it another one of those that I have to just kind of run into him. Ow! Ah. Uh. Be a bit more quick maneuvering than that, Prismo. Oh, I've got exactly one hit on this guy so far. Because uh, as soon as I get hit, he just wanders off into the other area. We also have no sprint left, essentially. Ah. Uh, no, that's it. I lost. Do we do the stage? Move Jackal's cape before attacking. Okay. Great, that means nothing. Yep, I have to do the whole stage again if I want to have another crack at the boss. It's the Dark Souls of Sega games. Just uh, just run that meme into the ground where it belongs. My bitrate has gone to shit. This is still a relatively old game. For some reason it's giving my internet a try. Oh, okay. I see reconnecting to chat, that's always good. 
Uh, did my stream just go offline for like five seconds? Because uh, I got disconnected from my chat room. Someone please confirm that I the existence of Twitch fucking up. Another tiny child. <laughs> right, so I don't think you really need to do this. I'm sure, sure the baby would like to um, kiss your ears or something. I'm not entirely certain. I don't know if I'm on online and streaming or not. What the fuck just happened there? Something did. Checking on the Cheekons. Better be good Cheekons. Well, means that my chat room is back together. Uh, I presume that. I was, I was about to go, chat, confirm or deny the existence of the third Banger Boy. <laughs> it's like saying weird stuff until the song responded. this one again. Oh, I immediately got hit as soon as I started. Come on! Oh, this is awful. 
me. Where'd he go? What? How'd he get his cloak back immediately? And now he's faster than me, so this bodes well. Oh no. I failed again. Because weird shit was happening. Oh, restart. I'm not gonna let you do that. game that kind of because of how it plays should not have boss fights. <laughs> just doesn't feel right just to go through all this calm, relaxing, flying action and be like, yeah you gotta fight a boss at the end of this, have fun. Let's get in the damn cannon. And the robot, Shinji, your dad loves you.
Knights. Knights, thank you. Am I really just one bubble short? I am. Trying to pause the game. Oh, not this crap again. How do you hit me with such ridiculous accuracy here? Oh, this boss is shit. I'm sorry, it's bad. Oh. Hello, Mishty. Around, around. I don't know where his cloak is. Oh, I killed him. Good. <laughs> Maybe fried cheek on? No, no fried cheek on. Oh, let him be free, be cheek on. I cannot advance any further with Claris because I've done all the first <laughs> all of her stages. <laughs> with your one last remaining hope, you summon this thing. Good luck knowing what it is. Although I doubt this was composed by uh Crimson Way, the uh normal Sonic composer. I imagine it was someone else they got into it because the uh, the bounciness of the base kind of gives it away. Like this would not be out of place in, say, uh, Mushroom Garden. Sorry, not Mushroom Garden, Mushroom Hill. It has a certain level of Genesis twang. <laughs> well, not Genesis, Mega Drive twang. Sorry, European. Sorry, English. Will not accept Genesis as the, uh, the name. Mostly because there's actually a very good reason for it, uh, historically speaking. Um, the, uh, it was called the Mega Drive in two separate continents. Uh, 
UK and Japan. So, yeah. We're not having that American marketing here. Yes. Which be called Genesis only in one place. And everyone now calls it that. Because America. We do want to upset them. Yeah, it's Mega Drive here, it's Genesis in America, and it's Mega Drive in Japan. Rather than... What did they call the Saturn? They called the Saturn... Uh, not Saturn. The, the Master System they, uh, in Japan was called just the MK3. Let's not wonder the pontifications on that one. <laughs> I mean, all I have to do with the with like North America in general, this includes Canada, unfortunately, is to like hold up a picture of the Ico box art and say, "Yeah, this is what you do." <laughs> but I think that's one of probably the easiest targets you can pick is the Ico box art. find that for people unaware of what it looks like. Yes, okay, I've already found it. It's like literally the first one. First one I can find. Uh, let me turn on display catch for a minute. Uh, turn that off. It'll reacquire it, it's fine. Yeah, this. That's the North American version. Uh, if I pick up... Where is it? It's on here somewhere. Uh, where is it? I think that's the Japanese one? Yes. No, that's the original Ico one. Um, yeah, this is what it actually was in uh, the rest of the world. Was this. So you compare that to the USA one, where he's kind of pissed off and trying to kill things. I don't know so much on this one. <laughs> yes, that was, uh, that's Team Ico. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus is quite famous. I played it. I wasn't too happy with it. Uh, the other one that people mostly joke on when it comes to Team Ico is um, The Last Guardian, because it took almost 10 years for the fucking thing to come out. I want to say that Last Guardian took, like, uh, not exactly speaking hyperbole, almost three development teams before they finished it. No, that's Ico. Ico is their first game. Um, Shadow of the Colossus is their second, and The Last Guardian is their third, and probably last. Uh, they got merged into 
Sony Studios Japan, and then uh, Sony Studios Japan is now closed for business. Oh, Twitch, please don't start doing this to me tonight. I just got disconnected from my chat room again, which is not exactly worrying. my exclamation went through. I'm very annoyed if it didn't. But I can have to be fair. Oh right, okay, okay. I need to destroy these whatever these are. Ow. Did I just hit myself with my own attack here? Ow! Launches them. Okay. Oh, he's a one and done boss. Okay. <laughs> I don't miss Yoshi's Island. Canyon, which I think is the last but one stage. So I think their last dream is combined. <sighs> I don't know if it smells like mown grass everywhere. going. <laughs> The game that I'm most supposed to be playing at the moment is Yakuza.
Yeah, I can see this being like a fun game from a casual standpoint. Being it, coming it from it as from a completionist standpoint, this game must be a nightmare. a message at this point of someone telling me when they would pick something up. State, all the uh, stories for Unlimited Saga anyway, so... Masochism does probably not cut it. Back to everything. Am I magnetized? This is goddamn scary. Oh my God. I lost everything. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that Unlimited is not going to make them feel much more different than from each other, except for maybe like one or two mechanics. Which, you know, I'm just like, well, okay, that's there then. Um, because it's the same problem, I'm gonna say, as Legend of Legacy. Which is the successor? The uh, the first story that you play is probably the only one you need to, because all the characters are the same. All the character stories are the same. Um, The, the carrier one is theoretically the uh, the longest story of them all because you can just not finish the game. It's weird. Uh, what's his name? Ventus. Why squares this fucking obsession with that name? <laughs> Saga, he's in King of Hearts. He's everywhere. You can't get away from him. <laughs> I think Knights is probably dead, passed out from G-Force. <laughs> oh, is there another one? Oh, I'm about to run out of time as well. Because... Uh, this is going on quite some time now. Ouch. Oh. 
still got a C. Alright, last, um, last normal boss. Let's see what it's like. Oh. It's the doppelganger fight. Ow. Where is he? Oh, it's Realia. Okay. Well, that was the quickest fight that I've done so far. <laughs> that one I just figured out by pure accident. I couldn't ram into him, so I just... ...span around. Right, there's only one more dream left. I think that's the best rank I've got. Oh, wait. No, that's it. I can't act unless there's like some sort of Oh, it sent me straight to the boss. Whoops. Unless I have to do like some sort of score thing. Yeah, no no, I'm not doing this boss again. <laughs> Let's have to do some sort of score-based, like, thing. Uh, I think that's it for the courses. Yeah, this is the same. Just in older vision. There should be an ending. I imagine there is, but um, I'm guessing I have... Even though I've done all the dreams that are available, uh, it doesn't have the last one unlocked. So let's find out, shall we? Oh, it's into dreams. Uh, there is a guide and walkthrough. Why not? Let's have investigation here. Twin Seeds is the last one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was. Yeah, that I need a C in all rank in all um stages. Which I've only got a C in one stage. But then again, I don't think the last stage is going to offer me much more than what I've played here. So, uh, that's what I get for speedrun. No, that's what I get for playing as I want. Thank you. It's mostly the boss battles that constantly screw me over. So, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's Nights into Dreams. It's one of those games where you have to just keep doing again and again and again, and I'm just like, I've already seen what you already have to offer. I wasn't attempting to speedrun it, I was just playing as a... not Echo. Oh yeah, so... Yeah, I think that's about 
the most I'm going to get out of Nights into Dreams. It's one of those games where I have to play it continue. Actually, I would like to point out that all of the uh, Steam achievements for beating every single stage is less than 16%. Also, my sound alerts have died. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, sound alerts. <laughs> yeah, even over two hours yet. No, it's not. Alright, let me bring the wheel back out, shall we? That's another one gone. It's either that... Uh, oh, that's not the one I had before. Where's the other one? There it is. No, I am not playing any more of Nights into Dreams because it's more about, like, score attack and I don't particularly care much for it, so... Uh, I keep forgetting it's not tab, it's enter. Add segments, reset the wheel. Let's bring it back up. What's the next one? <laughs> that was very close to the next one. Alright then, we're gonna do Spelunky as the next game. Which means I am um, playing this with keyboard or controller. I forget which one's which on this one. Installed. Where are you, Spelunky? Okay, I can just quick start. It's fine. Alright then. Let's have another go at this one. Still technically in the retro category. I would hear otherwise. Now I've got to remember how... Oh, that was bombs. That's rope. How can I grab... Oh, down and next. Okay. Uh, what's... Sprint. Right trigger. You, right trigger. Uh, Spelunky is going to just be kill Olmec. I can't be bothered to do any of the extra bonus stuff. Like, this is going to probably go on quite some time. <laughs> Spelunky is notoriously difficult. How's the sound balance? Can I be heard over Spelunky? Can I be heard over trapezing my under underwear? destroyed but for what gain ah! Let me 
don't get me wrong, the design for Sp um, Knights is fantastic. I'm just not that invested in it, sadly. It's definitely a game that if you... It, you can get quite a lot out of it. It's just that I have other games to play. And I am fucking this one up a absolute treat. Oh, shit. Well, Mama Spider is going to kill me. Of course you go in the hole that I just made. Ow. Where's the pug? Again? What is with Twitch tonight? It's not playing very nice today. Um, that's like the fourth time it's reconnected. Um, Steam only has the first game. I don't think it has the second. Run with me, Pug! Run! I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, Twitch is not exactly doing well on my end for some reason. Like, I think that's the fourth time my chat has disconnected and reconnected. Ah, oh, okay, you know what, fuck this. <laughs> Get in the spikes. Oh, I can't. Just kill me, spider, thank you. And I got shot. Good. Oh! Oh god, that was close. Get the pug and run. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Oh, you got? Uh, spike shoes are good. Is that big spider just sat up there? Oh, there was a big spider up there. Yeah, I saw someone's dog. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> Pug was just sat there doing nothing. Someone lost their dog. It's part of the uh, humane society. <laughs> Going out and grabbing dogs. Missy would approve. That's the wrong button every single time. Okay, that's just now a fried mess. I already have spike shoes, I just bought another set of spike shoes. No, big 
spiders. Lots of big spiders. That's a really bad place to lay that. But I killed something. And then I angered the shopkeeper. Um... No, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Well, money is now completely useless because I accidentally lobbed a bomb into the shop. Oh, I forgot that phone explodes. I was like, why is it humping the ground? Oh. It humped the ground because it was going to explode. This is going about as well as I thought it would. It's probably why I haven't bought Spelunky 2. I think I got this one for free, actually. sighted. There is the key. <laughs> like the one thing I kind of wish I had is the, um, I think Froslunky has it, which is the original multiplayer mod for this game. Uh, a timer for when the ghost shows up. Ow. Game. 
Really? Smells like cheap booze. New character unlocked as I absolutely kill her. Oh, I just killed that doggo. Oh no, I didn't. Why did Doggo survive? This is astounding to me. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no! Oh god, no. Something around my, where I'm living smells like cheap booze. Like, almost overpoweringly cheap booze. Ow. One hit point is better than two. And there's no dog. Where's the dog? doing this, but why not? I mean, you can fall through the floor, that's fine. Oh, God. Most hated floor in a spelunky run is the torch ones. Especially when you got things like scorpions just hanging around. Okay. <gasps> Pog kisses. Two slurpy kisses from a pug. Doggo to Carly, but I'm not going to. It's not for nothing. This thing of hot poop jazz going through that door. The dead are restless. Oh, the jumping zombies. Ow. Weird moments where Spelunky decides to get a little bit more educational. Ow! Fuck you. 
I thought that is. Okay, we got frogs. We got walking plants. We got tiny frogs. We got dudes with boomerangs. the boomerang. Actually, want the dog. There's an explosive frog and a boss frog. Great. And he's now guarding the door. I mean, that's that's one big chungus of a frog right there. Look at him. And then he spawns little frogs. Which means up yours, frog. No, oh, never mind. Didn't get close enough. I need to jump. Spit out frogs. He is unaffected by my head stomps. Oh, there's a piranha set of pools in there. Right next to a dog. Piranhas have been overcome. Frog is mine. Frog, make the mistake. There we go. Ah, uh, no, Pooch is dead. No kisses from this one. seen a shop in a while either. So many spikes. So many spikes. So many spikes. Dog. You're my key to salvation here, dog. I need you. <laughs> that's a that's a terrible place to spawn. Look at that. That's all instant kill as well. <laughs> oh. No bat. No. No! Not today, sir. Ice caves. This is actually the furthest I've ever got. I hear dog. Where is he? There he is. If you were going for um, a hell road on this one, oh god, oh god, I'm dead. Oh, no, not good. I'm still alive somehow. Fuck off. I hit you with a rock. <laughs> Power up to the dog. This should be it. Should 
be nearby. Damn it, I'm out of ropes. Yeah, if you buy the Ankh from the, uh, from the, uh, from the shop here, you get, that oh, smells like wet fur in here, that means there is a big yeti. If you buy the Ankh from the, uh, from the black market, you can revive yourself in 3-1 to go to the hell route. I'm dead. I'm dead! Yep. Well, that was the furthest I've ever got. Ah, oh, sound alerts have broken again. Sound alerts broken, they just turned off. Excuse me, give me a second here. What's going on with it? Overlay is apparently on. Constantly a pain in the ass, trigger fire. What is it you're doing? Right, so let's reset it. Because that's what I always have to keep fucking doing is removing it and then resetting it. Because it just keeps fucking breaking. Okay, now it's back. Now I've fixed it again. I don't understand with trigger fire, it just keeps breaking. I'm getting really fucking sick of it. But yeah, I want to show off that I can put things together, but also it's a pain in the ass. But I need something that gives me a manual redeem or some nonsense. It really annoys me because I'm like, I've set up properly and then it just breaks every single time. I'm so fucking tired of it breaking. Like, I have to open trigger fire constantly to make sure it's linked properly. It just annoys me. like some consistency and reliability here. Oh, I can't buy the jetpack, even though that's a horrible idea. Yes, Jenny uses the same one, but hers, for some reason, stays logged in and correct, whereas mine does not. I may ask Debbie what she uses. She does. Oh, I'm gonna quickly use the loom because I'm gonna need to. I shall be back.
Abend. Get that pug. Oh, I'm sorry, what the fuck is this? Spider floor again? They love giving me the spider floor. Oh, and there's Carly. It's kind of there. Um, one thing that you cannot do, and this is a this is a must not do for Spelunky, is get knocked out onto Carly's shrine. You will be sacrificed. Hello, doggo. I have seven hearts going into jungle and I will lose them all immediately to the first tiki idol. Are the dead of rest this one ready? Oh, the smell of cheap booze is in the air again. And now bonfire. Oh dear. So, you know these smiley things here? These are instant death. Oh, that kind of TK idol. No, I don't think... Oh, god damn it. It's close. Where's the dog? There's the dog. Oh, that's mean. Oh, that was a bad mistake. <laughs> That's a ghost spawn. So the ghost, if you take too long inside an area, uh, a ghost will spawn. I just happened to find an Encromancer skull. A ghost spawn, and it's an instant kill if it touches you. No, I can't. That's more ropes. That was nothing. Okay.
microphone. In between a frog and a hard space. Oh, monkeys. Why do I have to be monkeys? More stuff just casually exploding. There's a dog. Where's the way out? That's one or not. I don't think I'm getting to that dog anyway. Bombs I'll take. Go on, Bat, come down here. There we go, fine. Take the skull. them are randomly generated, they just seem to be weird. Okay, that works. behind all this crap, which is even better. That's an explosive frog. That's a dog. Oh, come on. You get hit the frog. You know, I'm, I'm not even going to try with these... Idols. There you go. Shove off. Oh, the dog's up there. Really? Okay. I mean, it's not just a dog. I just happen to have it set as the dog. That's all. Get in there. Get in there. Although I'm getting close to having access to floor 3 immediately, soon. thing up here. Um, if I throw the damsel into it, which is the dog in my case. Ah! <sighs> Great. What do you need for the next one? Oh wait, this is the stupid tutorial. I don't know why I'm doing this again. Let's show what happens here. If I just go in here, this gives me access to floor 2 immediately. But it means that I don't start with any items or whatever from floor 1. Like anything at all that I can pick up. Any hearts, whatever. Which is kind of a bummer, because it uh, hearts are very necessary for this game. Come on, Piranha. There's a healthy man in there. So we'd have to kind of like make it up from scratch. That is 
two frogs sat next to each other. I think it's sort of in the bin. Yep. Because now I have one, one maybe two hearts. Because those frogs were spawned in a very bad place. And bats. Bats are my worst enemy at this point. I died. Oh, you found a bomb and a rope. Fan fucking classic, you stupid. Mm. Hey, is there a cave band just sat there? On this side of things? Yeah, he's there. Uh, I would have to blow this idol up, though. Which is not going to be easy. Just, you know, fine. Just jump over it. Okay, caveman, be sacrificed. Fuck you, frog. Carly's curse is now... Yep, Carly is now very angry with me. Because the frog was explosive. Like, Carly can give you, like, a bunch of different items, you just have to know what to do with it. I died. <laughs> I'm already dead. Uh, this is going well. Like, that's the main trade-off for not doing the first floor, is that you won't get as much health. Uh, you can stack it up from the first three, three or four floors. That is, of course, if you don't get hurt. But no, in my luck, I would just get hurt by frogs. Ow! I'm bad. We're going to be at work on this game for quite some time, I think. And that's not even me just looking for the hell route, which is the hardest route to do. Oh, that's a vampire, really. Oh, thanks for the cape. Surprised I didn't have the cape. Oh, I've just angered Carly. Oh no, not happened.
Ah! Brain damage. Something hit me very hard in the head. Yeah, fucking dog. That go away. Oh, that's piranha. What is this generation? Like immediately, it's bad. Well, that got me out of that tough spot. <laughs> the most dumb roundabout way possible. <laughs> Ooh, a bomb bag. Full of three bombs. Hurry up. Yeah, I'm gonna call it soon. Like, I don't think I can get that <laughs> someone used it. Hey! Wasn't me for a change. I think this is where this is going to end. Because uh, trying to do this shit in the dark... I don't think it's going to happen. And that's exactly why. This is going to be one that's going to take some time and dedication, as long as I can get two extra layers. But at least, at least one game has been knocked off the list. Uh, let's see who is available. No, I don't have many people around. I have maybe one person. Unless I can find something. Let's have one, maybe two people, and uh, it's either <laughs> and those those are Final Fantasy fourteen or Dece Deceive Incorporated. I forget sometimes how dead Tuesdays are. Um. I 
Okay, I would do that, but I kind of don't know how far they are. <laughs> I think tonight has kind of been hurt by Twitch constantly disconnecting me. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I recognize this streamer. I think they seem to be alone, though. Well, I see uh, Scandranan, but they're on the they're just casually alone. Oh dear me. Well, this name seems familiar. It's another person called Misty. How many people are called Misty on this website? Um... Hmm. So is the problem when there's nothing happening? Well, let's have a look around. That's a partner, so that's usually not a good place to be. Wait a second, I thought Minnie Lily was asleep. <laughs> She's moderating in here. Um, I really am clueless on this one. Alright, let's put it up to a poll then. I think last time I streamed on a Tuesday, it was actually reasonably busy. Oh, is anyone actually streaming Spelunky? Oh, lots of people playing Spelunky 2, but not the original. Still, um, okay, we'll go with that. There you go. Have fun. Have fun making me flip a damn coin on stream again. Or we could have a consensus. <laughs> right, I've never actually played Illusion of Gaia, so I don't quite know what to expect on this one. 
I think I have it. Um, I'm just not entirely certain. Alright, I'll send everyone over there. I really don't get tonight, so... Um, it might not be Kafka. Misty could have woken up. Give Prism a break. Yes. I'm getting tired of flipping a coin on stream. So, next two days, as I normally would stream on those, I am not. So... Oh. There was two people lurking in my stream. <laughs> I was like, on a second. Um, Friday is going to be doubtful. If I do stream on Friday, I'm going to be incredibly tired. Uh, if I don't, I'm going to play that controversial game offline. I'm going to play Iron Fury. And then if I don't, if I feel up to it again, uh, I may stream on that Friday night. If not, I will come back Saturday uh, with Unlimited Saga. So, have a good night. Take care.